Good morning, folks. The title and opening sequence tell the top story today, and we won't waste time getting to it. We'll also hit exoplanets, corporate fraud, and a nearby pulsar hiding in plain sight. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com, where we find a mostly quiet day on our star. No solar flares, no CMEs, no chance to get much of one today. Closest thing to noteworthy are the plasma filaments on the south. Still don't have any facing Earth, but this is why we watch for them. Top story begins with the solar wind continuing to drop intensity after stabilizing its magnetic coupling with Earth, and we have officially entered a zero day, the first full 24-hour KP0 event of this cycle. And for those who have seen our conference talk, our videos, or read our book, you know the number one cardiac and mental health alert factor outside of a super solar flare would be the KP0 day. Hopefully you all got the Cosmic Ray Health Alert through your app this morning. Solar wind is expected to intensify again when the stream from these coronal holes arrive. Phi angle shift preceding kinetic impact can't be more than a day or so away, so hopefully this health alert ends soon. Speaking of hopeful, after thousands of buildings in Japan were built to withstand larger earthquakes, news comes out of eight individuals at the building company committing hundreds of instances of data fraud. They completely fake the earthquake safety data for these buildings, and have the guts to claim they will all withstand what they were supposed to withstand anyway. Pretty interesting article out about dust rings and how we might get tricked into thinking multiple planets are around a star when in fact it would just be one migrating around. Of course the history of our solar system involves migrating planets so this is always a favorite personal topic of mine. And then let's take a look at this region of space here. Well wait let me back up. So pulsars, one of the more mysterious stellar features in the cosmos, especially when you peek at the gulf separating mainstream and electrical theories on their processes and formation. Alas, we do observe these cosmic lighthouses with varying rotations, but which can often be many times per second. It's a crazy thought for a massive space object, by the way. But now we come back to the scene. Turns out, it hides the closest Milky Way pulsar to us, and it's been hiding in plain sight in a wavelength our eyes are unfit to see. Chandra and X-rays here, it's supposed to be broken, right? Someone forgot to tell them it's their second science release this week. Given the alert today, I highly recommend the Disaster Prediction app. Notification service gets all space weather, earthquake, and global observers alerts out to you. We greatly appreciate your support. It's how these shows come out every single day. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.